Well, this research is co-authored with uh, Professor Luke von Wassenhoff from INSEAD, and we had a huge collaboration from the International Committee of the Red Cross, especially from the uh, Global Fleet Manager, uh, Dario Moro. And that organization, which is a benchmark humanitarian organization in terms of logistics, opened uh, their doors and uh, they allowed us to have access to their data and to their staff to complement our findings. So uh, that was very important. The challenge we were trying to explore here was uh, the vehicle replacement uh, policy that the ICRC, International Committee of the Red Cross, should uh, follow for their uh, 4x4 uh, vehicles. These 4x4 vehicles are like the Toyota Land Cruiser, for example, are vehicles used uh, to coordinate and in some cases to execute last mile distribution of humanitarian programs. Uh, in other words, these cars are used in the field to uh, transport staff, transport materials, and sometimes transport uh, beneficiaries of humanitarian uh, programs. So the ICRC has been following for some time a vehicle replacement policy recommended by the manufacturer that uh, sells them the cars. So that policy was uh, replacing either every five years or 150,000 kilometers, whichever came first. And that was a policy that that manufacturer used to recommend to commercial companies working in normal environment or, or conventional environments, like uh, the ones you observe in terms of uh, roads and security conditions in the US or in Europe. In this research, we used qualitative and quantitative data. The qualitative data was uh, coming from interviews uh, with staff at different levels, at the headquarters level in Geneva. Uh, we interviewed logisticians and program people, like programs are like the ones uh, delivering services and logisticians are the support unit to give, provide transportation to those programs. Uh, at the regional level in Kenya, we interviewed uh, logisticians again, and at the national level in Uganda, we also had uh, some interviews with uh, different staff. That was combined with uh, different data sets on vehicle uh, purchases and sales, accidents, and um, uh, monthly use and monthly cost for a period uh, between 2001 and 2006. Uh, for four countries that are representative of the uh, driving conditions faced by the ICRC. Something we found in this research was that uh, the data quality was uh, an issue uh, at that point for the International Committee of the Red Cross, which is natural, I think, because many times the staff in this organization work under uh, a lot of pressure and they have this trade-off and they have a limited time and they are either like uh, putting the data into the system or doing some more important jobs at that time. So sometimes the data quality suffers. Uh, so we had to spend uh, a good proportion of our time making sense out of the data. And it's not that much about like uh, missing data uh, points, it's more about like for example, typing mistakes or like local currency versus uh, Swiss francs or like uh, having in some cases the odometer reading in miles in others in kilometers, etc. And this is a global operation. So we had to go almost record by record, making sure that the data we had uh, was uh, ready to be used. First, we wanted to know what the drivers of replacement uh, were. We had a set of variables. Uh, of inputs, if you want, like uh, accidents, um, like country, security, odometer, uh, age of the vehicle, etc. And we wanted to know uh, like, wh what were the drivers, the real drivers of, of replacement. And we used um, logistic regressions and uh, linear regressions uh, to know that. Then when we had found it, like the, the drivers of replacement, we used that, that was the odometer of the vehicle, uh, to feed a um, dynamic programming uh, model that helped us to, found, to find the uh, optimal replacement uh, time. 
for the vehicles, time and distance in this case. And then once we had that policy, we wanted to know how robust it was compared to the previous policy and also how robust these results were in general. So we used a stochastic simulation to uh, kind of uh, create many vehicles and like thousands of uh, runs to know like what were the uh, intervals of confidence for our results. So like to summarize, we started with uh, econometric models, continued with uh, dynamic programming, and finished with simulation to know uh, the robustness of our findings.